I'm running out of hard drive space. Let's get started. What's up guys? This is my home server. This is a uh, box that I put together. Uh, you've seen videos about this on my channel uh, and I'll leave links in the description below so you can check those out. Uh, this is running Server 2012 Essentials and this pretty much handles all of my uh, data backups uh, for all my computers uh, as well as providing a, a network drive for all of the data that we keep like photos, videos and that kind of stuff. Uh, it's on the workbench today because I was told by Windows Server that uh, three of my five uh, data drives are at capacity. And because of that, uh, it actually makes those uh, storage pools unavailable to me. Uh, so I do have an order uh, in to get some new hard drives. Uh, but in the meantime, before you know, while I wait for them to come, I need uh, to be able to get to my data. So what I'm going to attempt to do in this video is add some additional storage and uh, see if I can get to my stuff. Okay, well that didn't take too long. Um, <laughs> turns out I don't have any uh, readily available power to uh, the SATA drives that I'd like to add. Uh, I have one free plug, but it's not in any good position next to these drive cages. So it's, that's no use to me. Uh, and I do have four pin Molex connectors. I actually have a bunch of them, but I don't have any converter cables. So that doesn't work either. So I'll just have to wait for the new drives to come in. It will be annoying not to be able to get to uh, this uh, server directly for a couple of days while I wait for those other drives but uh, because I uh, have a backup solution for this server in place I can still get to my files so I use a system uh, called crash plan and that's a, a, a cloud-based backup solution and once a week or so this entire server is backed up to that server uh, or to that service up in the cloud uh, fortunately for me this was last done just a couple days ago and uh, so I have a very current backup that's up there and if I needed anything I can just log in and pull files down directly which is really nice um, data is so important uh, backups are really important and uh, this is kind of the reason why I have that uh, that process in place because my servers not around uh, temporarily anyways uh, but I can get to my stuff if I have to well a lots happened since the uh, last part of the video there uh, my two hard drives came in uh, I ordered a pair of uh, these Western Digital Red drives uh, and these hard drives up top uh, were in my home server and that I pulled out because I'm going to be doing some swapping around here so I don't have enough uh, power like I mentioned to have all of these drives plugged in and uh, what I'm going to end up doing is keeping these guys and of course the three terabyte or the pair of the three terabyte drives and then I'm gonna have to shelve those guys because I just don't have a way to power them at least not right now so the breakout uh, is gonna be this I'm going to take the two uh, three terabyte drives and I'm gonna use that for my backups and then I'm gonna take the two terabyte and one terabyte drive up here uh, and use that for my data and then I'm gonna take this 750 gig drive and use that for file history Windows storage pools ends up not being uh, a great solution for the kind of stuff that I want to do. Uh, I wasn't able to uh, move files across the drives to uh, free up space on all of the drives. And uh, that's a problem because you know uh, the uh, drives fill up, Windows says I don't have any more capacity even though I do, and then it doesn't let me use them. So. Uh, I'm going to move away and step away from storage spaces altogether and I'm going to use a uh, piece of software called DrivePool from a company called StableBit. The software gives me uh, a lot more flexibility in uh, how I allocate the data, how I do folder duplication, uh, rebalancing and a bunch of other stuff. You've seen these cages on my channel before. Uh, these came out of the uh, server case and these are where the hard drives are installed. Uh, they just sit in these little sleds and then they slide in and out like that. Um, I took the opportunity to clean out the fans. They were a little bit dusty so I cleaned uh, this one and the one over here and uh, I've got the Western Digital Red drives in here and this guy right here is a uh, Intel SSD. It's a 120 gig drive and that's my boot drive. Uh, the other Western Digital Black drives are going to go in the other cage and then I'll install these in the server. Hard drives are installed in the cages and the cages are now in the case and through some creative cable management I now have a spare and usable SATA power plug in case I wanted to add another drive. Uh, next thing to do is install that drive pool software and configure the drives. 
uh, and then get this powered back up and have all my data copied back to the PC and that will take a long time and obviously I'm not going to film that for you guys because that's going to be pretty boring so anyways uh, that's going to wrap it up for this video check out the description below for links to everywhere that I'm at and follow me there uh, like and subscribe that helps me out a ton and uh, as always guys thanks for watching see you next time Thank <laughs> you.